things like lubricants, moisturizers, ingredients in those products, tampons, menstrual cups, silicone. So what ingredients in things that we put in or on our vulvas and vaginas could potentially disrupt the microbiome? We can look at those things. If we're looking at lubricants, for example, the current consensus is you want something that is pH correct. So the vagina, I did mention before, is by these lactobacillus and the acids they produce is very tightly regulated in an acidic range in health. So between about 3.6, 3.8 to 4.5 is the healthy range up to and including 4.5. When we see it move above that, it tells us that the bacterial environment is imbalanced. But at the same time, we can challenge the bacterial environment by introducing things that aren't acidic, that aren't pH correct as well. And so sometimes if the lubricant isn't pH correct or if it has ingredients like glycerin that can disturb the cells and create inflammation, or if it has an ingredient that is an antimicrobial ingredient like lohexidine, or in certain parts of the world, and clearly not Australia, some lubricants will have spermicides in them as well, which are quite damaging to some cells in the area and the overall environment, or fragrances and things like that. So a lot of unnecessary ingredients that are by nature on a very delicate cell surface, irritating, and may change the environmental pH or may change how fluids move in and out of a cell and so create damage to the cell as well.